Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Stasis. This is Colonel RPG and I'm very happy to have you here hanging out with me as I start yet another Let's Play series uh, for the one of the seven Let's Play series that I'm starting this week. And this game came out back in uh, August thir the 31st of 2015 and uh, is described by the developer as a point-and-click sci-fi horror adventure game played from a unique isometric perspective. And everybody that I've read talking about this game says it is fantastic. It's low budget, but it's amazingly atmospheric, it's got a good story, it's got a good setting, it's got a good everything. I, I, I've never played it. Actually, the only reason why I didn't play it when it came out um, last year was because Pillars of uh, the first expansion for Pillars of Eternity came out right around that time as well. So, you know, I was a little bit swamped in terms of games back then. Uh, so yeah, it's time for us to go on in. I have uh, started the game just um, to see the, uh, a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the, um, uh, the, the, the intro, but uh, I didn't play. So, let's go. New game. Without a family, men alone in the world trembles with the cold. Andre Mora. Or however you pronounce his name. Yeah. Yes. If you guys don't know who Mark Morgan is, it's the uh, composer for uh, Wasteland 2 recently, uh, but also Fallout 1 and 2. Man, I'm loving the I'm loving the, the sort of gothic Warhammer style sort of thing. Sort of art direction. I'm sorry to be talking over the uh, the intro. I, it's just nothing much is going on, so I might as well just give you my my impression. So we're over Neptune. For those of you that don't know, Neptune is actually a gas giant, so it, there's no kind of surface per se, unless I'm sorely mistaken, but I don't believe I am. Oh boy. Okay, we're a guy that was in cryostasis, I assume, or something. Welcome to the Gen Corporation Stasis Plug Suit. Please hold still while your biometric scans are completed. What? The suit? You're, the suit is talking to me right now? Heart arrhythmia. Multiple fractures along ribs 3, 5, 11, and 14. 
extreme muscle atrophy, danger of heart failure, danger of pneumothorax. So seek immediate medical attention. Yeah. I would say that those are medical data storage is damaged. Formatting quantum storage device. Plug suit quantum storage device is ready for physical record storage. I don't really understand what you mean. What you s what he's saying. Most of that stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I, I got my mouse control now. Okay. Uh, so this is stasis, uh, apparently. So a smear pool of some dark, sticky, congealed substance. Can you right click to see more details? That's John. Our guy's called John. Okay. And I can move him. Can I use WASD? Can I use the arrow keys? No. But I can click. This, this isn't my ship. No? Then whose ship is it? Because the humid steam gives off a sticky sweet smell as it rises from the glass tube. Okay. So we have a terminal over there. And I got the cryo tubes. That's what I say. Oh boy. Because some of the horrifying face is pressed against the glass of this pod. Its skin pulled taut over its bones. Yeah, we saw skeletons. Oh god. Oh, don't be like that, man. Elevated neural activity can be detrimental to your current state of health. Please stay calm. Oh, it's one of those games then. Okay, I like that. I like that. I am a big fan of uh, of uh, games with um, sanity meters. Um, that I recall right now would be probably Dark Corners of the Earth and uh, uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent or... Uh, don't Starve? <laughs> Well, Don't Starve is a different game. And we got another cry tube. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Inside the glass tube, a corpse hangs like a grotesque, a grotesque puppet, tangled in the pipes and wires that had once provided life. It is now no more than a lifeless husk. Okay, so let me see one thing here. I love the sound effects, uh, by the way. Um, I wonder if it were if it was Mark Morgan. Did he the sound effects as well. What the hell is happening to the guy? Did he fall? My heart. Oh, I think he did. Arrhythmia. Or something. Please seek immediate medical attention. Okay, trying to. This seems red. Might be medical. So let's see. Subject uh, Marocek J. Batch number 165A8. Status cryostasis interrupted. Okay, can you do anything with it? No, you can't. Okay, we can't even drag the camera around. Uh, we have wires up there. An intertwined mass of wires and other conduits leads from the rear of the stasis pods and into the wall where they disappear into the inner spaces of the facility. Okay, we got a chair over here. Let's sit down, because that's usually a good idea. Can't you sit down? Operator's chair. The well-worn leather of the chair is cracked, showing its age. What about the screens? So I can't do anything. Unless I'm... Okay, so these are... The mouse cursors are relevant over here. The only sound in this room is the hiss. Oh, it's said there. Increased heart rate detected. Automated medical care systems are non-functional. Please seek medical attention. Elsewhere? <laughs> he should add. Trying. Yeah, you are. Okay, so I need to pay attention to the uh, narrator's uh, things because those are going to be important. So basically that probably was just, oh, the only sound that you hear is the hissing of the door as you get into, what is this? Uh, a light pulses in warning. Okay, so I'm getting a, I, I was getting a strong enemy zero vibe from the, what was that sound? Are you trying to scare me? That's not going to work. The fan spins slowly circulating air through the damp corridor. Okay, what, I can't go over there. So I was, uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, there's two mouse cursors for right now. One is that one that you see down at the bottom, and uh, the other one is the eyes. Hello. Please. Is anyone there? I don't think so, man. I really don't think, no, don't go there. Oh. Oh, yeah, another, another mouse cursor. What is this, a chair? It's just a chair, but chairs are important. The chairs sit vacant. The leather split with wear. The leather split with wear along the seams and rounded, e rough, rounded edges. Corroded padding protrudes from the tears and uh, the tears in the fabric. This place looks long, uninhabited. But the fact that there's still power might say something, or it could by it could be just a plot device, really. The word holotron projector are embossed in metal in this piece of machinery, but the screen is smashed and it looks beyond repair. Okay, what about this thing? A blinking readout on the screen reads. Release the computer's work. 
Yeah, product storage checklist and notifications. Let's go with notification first. In addition to Dr. Essex, we are happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the new head nurse of product storage. It was a sad day when Nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures and she will be missed. Notice, as our cloning facilities has been deemed too costly, we are happy to note that product storage has now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. We are now the number one supplier of human specimens to the entire facility. After... Hmm... Product storage. Hmm. After the unfortunate incident in product storage number two, we will be un we will be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance, starting with the new lockdown and security systems. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Notice, two weeks ago, a false security lockdown occurred in product storage two and three. Kane Corporation. Oh boy the names, uh, has uh, terminated operations on both floors until a cleanup crew can, ev uh, can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew deaths and uh, the expiration of 12 un unopened products occurred due to emergency venting procedures. So basically they vented them off into space. Okay, so thinking of places where that happens. Usually when terrible alien organisms are about that want to kill you. Anderson S, batch number 16544. Uh, the blood type stays this pod. Mining transport obtaining orbiting Titan. Wait a minute, that's where you got him? Part of a long term terraforming operation. One of 17 stasis pods. Reserved for. Oh, wait a minute. What is. I don't really understand what this is. Uh, stasis pod acquired. Oh, maybe I need to. Okay, this was a teenager dude. This is uh, a guy, an older guy. Jackson P. Escape pod from drowned transport between Earth and Mars, one of four stasis pods. <clears throat> okay, so I, they basically are rescue missions and stuff. Stasis pods acquired. T personal transport ship intercepted en route to Titan Station. Uh, Titan is one of the moons of uh, Saturn? I think so. Hmm. Uh, Espenza. Hmm. One of three stasis pods. Status of re returning luxury transport, all hands lost, one out of 12 stasis pods. But the guy, he doesn't say that, that he's dead or anything. So, this is storage. Okay. Okay. And this is the holographic projector. We have a blood stain over there. Dried blood stains. The dried blood trails downwards from the countertop, but I can't do anything with it. I can just put my mouse over it. So. Of course, my, my guy's gonna start panicking because that's what he does, uh, I think. Let's see, dried... Please don't do that. Uh, dried blood... Again. The dried blood streaks the floor in a wide swath as if someone had been dragged or slowly crawled away. It's hard to tell whether it came from or went towards the infirmary door. Okay, that... The fact that you are wondering that kind of is a little bit unnerving. So, un infirmary, I know where to go. Hopefully, I'll be able to find some steam packs or something. I have no idea. So we got a few cribs, which are fantastic, because, of course, Silent Hill. But let's see, a tangle, or oh, other things as well, I suppose, but anyway. A tangle of long, discarded, and moldering ben bed linen lies in the east in this infant crib. Dark stains smear the bars, but it is otherwise empty. Light passes through the bars, casting stark shadows on the wall behind. Good, good. Uh, several hastily discarded infirmary ward screens. Okay, so nothing really too important. This is like the entrance point, although there's no blood over there, so... I don't know what happened. Great Infirmary is closed until further notice. Game Corporation accepts no responsibility for that. You're all screwed up, man. I don't know if this game is going to conta contain swear words. Until I find out, I'm going to try and stay away from those. The, ventilation, the ventilator sits motionless and unable to sustain life. Wheelchair abandoned with the crumbling leather armrests. Yeah, those are the first ones to go in my experience as well. We got a medical ventilator over here that apparently needs to be... Oh, the breaker box. Uh, so this mechanical ventilator stand is motionless. An attached tachyotomy, tu tachyotomy tube is encrusted with a greenish-brown substance that dried up long ago. Okay, don't touch it then. And a hospital bed over there. The darkness congeals into fearsome shapes in the gap between the bed and wall. Okay, nothing too important. A bunch of dark stains cover the sheets. We got surgical equipment over there. Several pieces of surgical equipment have been left out on the side tray table. They are corroded and caked in dry blood. What about the breaker box? I... Okay. I like this. I like this very much. Very, very much. You know what this reminds me of? This sort of, sort of interaction? The first Resident Evil. Because every once in a while we get like these close-up details to things. So let's see what I can do. Can I click anywhere? Oh, I can. 
Okay, so these are basically... If I... What? What? I don't want to power up the robotic surgeon. If I know anything about surgeons, it's that robotic ones are the worst. No! And what are these signs? Okay, they're just... Okay, that's... I'm not really sure I can do anything here, but... So, life support, dockmate scanner, robotic surgeon... That'll be... I powered up the power. Okay. Robotics are active. Thank you! Okay, that goes down. So, that's easy. Robotics are active. Can I disable it? Not really. Okay, so life support... Uh, crash of the system. What about dockmate scanner? It does not. Okay, so I'm probably gonna need to go with a dockmate scanner. scanner yeah, okay. So then I can come... Why, why are there so many arrows? <laughs> Okay, let's go for the scanning first, because you, you know, you think that that would be the case, right? I mean, you just woke up in a ship that's not your own. Uh, the computer terminals are covered in a sticky veil of cobwebs and dust, indicating that they have not been used in a long time. Did they really bring spiders into a space station? Uh, if I know anything... Oh, well, don't bring that in here. You don't need that. This equipment provides a medical diagnosis of a specimen through a non-invasive scanning procedure. Treatment is administered through a nanite, nanite solution drug cocktail that is delivered intravenously. Well, how is that not invasive then? If it's intravenously. Hi. Dockmate scanner active. <laughs> it's all slumped over. Oh boy. Multiple oh. injuries detected. Emergency medical kit created. Or we can make them at will? The night solution, anticoagulant, and morphine combination suggested. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have Thank you. a nice day. Thank you for helping me, Mr. Adjudic adjudicator, adjudicator, not adjudicator. What's the what's the word for the Robo Lady in StarCraft? It looks like her. We have the medical, yeah, the emergency medical kit. The emergency medical kit sits on the glowing slab, automatically filled with the required dosage of medication. So give me life, make me run. Actually, speaking of which, probably I don't want to run. I don't want to be able to run. Ooh. Wait a minute. <gasps> what is that? Dockmate systems mixture. Now, empty hypodermic syringe. Okay, so I need to use this on this, you'd think, and then it's full. And then use this on where? On yourself? I suppose. Deep breath. A syringe? Yeah. Or... But, but Dad, Sandy said that if you have bad dreams and you can't wake up that, you'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca, don't worry, you won't have any dreams for the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy, and I promise they'll go away. Now legs up, lay down. This is my ship, then. And my family has There clothes. you go. Sweet dreams, my girl. Yep. No! Wait, sing it. Sing the song. John, looks like we have a song to sing. Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed. Soon you will rise again, so drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us, and you will see, monsters can't harm you or me. Close your eyes again And worry no more Stars and the moons They will pass us by soon A new day will surely be Upon you and me So go to sleep my, my baby, baby girl, in your warm bed, soon you will rise again, so drift away, sleepy head. You know, you could have just told her that we're gonna have so many drugs in our system that we'll barely remember our own names. Uh, yeah. Somehow squeezing Teddy 
seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug-induced coma. We are almost done here. Do I get a teddy? You, you get a hug. Holy crap, they came out of nowhere. Rebecca? I need to... My, my wife? My child? I need to find someone. I need to get out of here. Yeah, somehow I think they're not in this ship. Vital medical functions have been restored to benchmark levels. Okay, I can run. Not a good sign. As I was saying... So basically the problem with running is that we're we're gonna be running from terrible things because I really don't think this game is gonna have combat. Let's see, we got a robotic surgeon terminal. This access terminal is inactive, its display is black. Okay, robotic surgeon arm. The arm of the automated robotic surgeon is retracted. Okay, let's try and turn it on because we don't need that one anymore. I don't think I I still don't under oh. Okay, how about the life support? Emergency life support active. Okay, all these arrows. Still don't understand. But what happens with the life support? What kind of life support is it? Medical ventilator? Sits motionless and unable to sustain life, but how? It's the doc. I, oh, I'm probably missing something here. I'm gonna go with the doc mate first and try to access the computer. See what that does. It's kind of weird. It, breakers don't work like this, do they? I don't think so. Although, science fiction. Science fiction answers everything. Let's go. So, that's the surgeon right there. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, so we got John. Yes, but robotic surgeon. This screen. Uh, the screen of this terminal glows with a weak gray light. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I hadn't looked at the keyboards and all that. That's pretty awesome. And you, get, you can see the, the tubes back there, or whatever those are. Pretty awesome. Let's see, surgically logs. Pro, so, product P, Sowell, operator, Essels. Oh, that's the product again with this thing. Last surgery completed before spec ops surgery locked down. Product expired during surgery, but bone extraction was successful. Uh, by Dr. K. Essels, the neural drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. Please get maintenance down to fix it. Hmm. You can... Hover your mouse over it. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so prep, organ extract, high-speed neural drill selected. Oh. No! no don't distract! What? You heard it. I heard it. The arm of the automatic robotic surgeon is extended. The mechanism that holds the neural drill is in place is unlocked and open. What am I gonna do? It says something. Skin harvesting, product spinal tagging. Tagging? Let's see. Listen to what it says. It didn't say anything. Not this time. So we need to bring somebody over here, I think. Or something. I... No idea. Let's try and um, bring this down over here. Yeah, bring it down over there. And let's turn on life support over... That'll be that one. Emergency life support active. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, didn't mean to do what I just did. Don't worry. Everything is fine. The game... The... Oh, again. Did it again. <laughs> the game doesn't lock the... Uh, doesn't lock the, uh, the mouse in the screen, so I'll just put the mouse off, off screen. Okay, let's go back through here. Now that we can run, it's gonna be a little bit faster, but... Oh. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, a security lockdown is in order. No! Please meet at your closest administration office for further instructions. Damn it. Power down robotic arm right there. And yeah, all these things. Okay, so that one, I suppose it's locked. Hello? Have... No. The heavy metal door stands unmoving, occasionally emitting a mechanical hum as the servos and motors attempt fut futilely or futilely or hopelessly uh, to move it again or to op move it open. Let's go down here because we came from over there. Okay. The place seems to be working. I... Is anyone there? I don't think so, mate. I really think we're alone. 
And if anybody is around, then it's not going to be for us to be happy about that. With a fine layer of dust and leaking oil underneath, the loader appears to have been used for a long time. A fine layer of dust, huh? Okay. It also appears to have been used recently as well. Otherwise, we'd have more layers. It kind of looks very grimy around here. So, we, I don't know. We'll see. So, information terminal reads code 5448 level lockdown. Security lockdown? Must be why there's nobody here. Maybe they were evacuated. We got floor lights over there. Why? Why? Yeah. 5448. The floor lighting seems standard to this level. Thank you very much. What about here? Do we have. Uh, can we do anything with this? Okay. The eligible notes on these scattered pieces of paper indicate the author must have been a doctor or a scientist, but we can't really do anything with that. Uh, yeah, okay. So we heard something terrible come from either the freighted elevator over here or this side. I think I heard it from the we from the left side. Empty. Not really. Fuck, I just... Where the hell is everyone? What? Doctor, where are you? Oh, okay. you don't know. It's this thing that's making the noise. The admin computer bu buzzes on the desk. Great company wants to thank all employees for their dedicated service. This year's profits are up 20% across all sectors. Life expectancy is up five years. We are at the cusp of greatness. In the words of Henry Payne himself, humanity has chosen us to do its good work, and together we will not let them down. Kane Corporation, tomorrow's technology, today. Huh. So it looks like we're in a in the presence of. If I would if I would say anything, this looks like the the uh, company from from Alien. The company. I don't actually remember what the name of the company is, but the ones that. Well, if you never watched Alien, then. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about. So we have Kane Corporation. This guy, it's all redacted and stuff, unless it's not. Uh, administration Terminal. Yeah, so this was the computer that was making this noise. And look at this keyboard, it's from a, from a typing machine, not from a computer. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Robert Freely, General Administration Officer. Uh, security told us 14 days ago that they'd be rewriting the lockdown systems for two weeks we'd had to deal with random system shutdown two days ago Peters was locked in the bathroom while it flooded I think we read this name before and we only got him out this morning I'm just thankful this didn't happen last Tuesday when hypo I hydroponics had a screw up with the poisoned mushrooms or we would be putting paint the wall we'd be we had been painting the walls of the elevator in transit to the crew level bathroom okay Magnus was down here for the final rewiring of the lockdown systems. It's all working, except they crossed wires with the central product storage systems. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tanks... Again, it's this, it's this transmission. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tanks, the system resets instead of all the sealing the leak. It's nothing we can deal with in the short term. I know it's going to take forever to get them back down here to fix this. <laughs> Yep. Anyway, I think that's Juca Cola. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for right now. Uh, man, this is an interesting situation that we find ourselves in. I want to continue reading that stuff over there, trying to get a little bit of a clue of as to what they are doing with the products around here. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Stasis. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, and if you want to see more episodes in the future, be sure to leave a like down below and. Uh, comment leave a comment as well if you have anything to say but above all thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next episode bye bye